In the middle of the parched desert landscape of Iraq lies the 6,000 square mile Mesopotamia marshland, the largest ecosystem in the Middle East. These wetlands were once the childhood haven for Zam Awash. You'd go into this magical place Meandering in small streams with, with reeds extending as far as the eye can see. And every now and then, the breeze would come in and cool you down. The marshlands were much more than Azam's respite from the desert heat. For centuries, they were the vital life source for 400,000 indigenous Sumerians. They built their houses without using a single piece of metal. Reeds upon reeds upon reeds upon reeds. And this is still developed over thousands of years, fishing, hunting birds, harvesting reeds to weave mats, to trade with neighboring areas, using the reeds as wood for their ovens. During Saddam Hussein's oppressive regime, the dictator ordered that the marshes be drained and burned in order to flush out rebel forces. When the marshes were dried, our people lost their way of life and our ability to live off the land. So most of our people left and migrated towards areas where work was possible. But I stayed behind. I refused to leave my homeland. Because of the tyrannical government, Alwash fled Iraq for Los Angeles, where he became an engineer. In 2003, after Saddam's fall, he returned to his war-torn country and set out against overwhelming scientific and political odds to bring the marshland back to its former splendor. Azam worked with the marsh Arabs to plan for the sustainable restoration using his engineering and technical skills. I only helped in suggesting areas where breaches can be very productive, can allow for continuity of flow. And so, lo and behold, experts don't know diddly. <laughs> <laughs> because within six months of introducing water, the reeds came back, uh, the fish came with the water. Today, as we speak, 76% of the marshes that are possible to restore have been restored. When the marshes came back to life, we found our self-respect. They gave us back our soul. Azam is now lobbying to have the marshlands declared a national park so that their future will be secure. Never say it can't be done. They said that, like 10 years ago, it can't be done. Dream and dream big. It's free, first of all, but it's possible. For Outstanding Environmental Achievement in Asia, the 2013 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Azam Awash, Chubayesh, Iraq.